You need only spend a few minutes with Jeff and Nicole Friday to understand what drives them. What we're really trying to do and what our company Nice Crowd does is we want to level the playing field for people of color in the entertainment industry. That's really been our mission to level the playing field. Like expert landscapers, they've been leveling that playing field since 1997. That's when Jeff launched the American Black Film Festival after going to another film festival. In visiting that festival, he realized that there were so many things about it that weren't even, if you will. And we really wanted to give those opportunities to people who ordinarily wouldn't have that in into entertainment or into Hollywood. What were the challenges you faced at the beginning? Corporate sponsorship was challenging. And if I'm being very honest, it, the, the idea was marginalized in the beginning. So 1997, 20 years before Oscars, hashtag Oscars so white, you know, before George Floyd's murder, and people just weren't committed to diversity. I can, I can just say it out loud. So I've endured this journey of marginalization and, you know, kind of putting it off to the side, and we've watched the world catch up to the mission of the festival. <laughs> the festival has given an early career boost to artists who've gone on to achieve great success. Anthony Anderson won the Rising Star Award in 2000. Black Panther director Ryan Coogler received an honor for his short film back in 2011. And Issa Rae says the festival gave her a big break, as she told IMDb. And for me, they showcased my work and brought me out early when I just had a web series and to be put on on a level with so many other people I admire just meant so much to me. Your host for the evening. Earlier this month, Nice Crowd launched a comedy festival in Washington, D.C., showcasing comedians of color. The festival's name? Because they're funny. It's kind of a mission statement and a cool name, if you think about it. You know, why spend the effort to promote diverse comics? Why? Because they're funny. What can something like this hopefully do for a young comedian? Yeah, you know, our, our bread and butter is platforming deserving people that might not get a shot. So we're just replicating that model. You know, we really believe that everyone deserves a shot, and we just don't think that the comedy arena is diverse enough. We truly don't. And so this is just our effort to have some fun and what we call do purposeful for-profit work, you know. And we want to laugh a lot. Now's a good time. I mean, comedy more than ever, we want to laugh. You don't understand how good it was out there. Five years from now, we're going to have a new comedy star, someone that'll have a television series and a $50 million movie that got their start right at our comedy festival. You say that with confidence. Oh, man, we, we, we've done it before. <laughs> Leveling the playing field in comedy, just as they've been doing in film for nearly three decades. As you point out, eventually Hollywood started to catch on and realize this was an important issue. Reality check. Where are we right now? Where do we need to go when it comes to diversity in film? I, I think we're in a great place. Uh, you know, um, I, well, I, I don't. Yeah, I mean, he thinks that we're in a great place. I don't know that I think we're in a better place, but I still think that there's a long way to go to make sure that there are more opportunities for people, not only in front of the camera, but those who are behind the camera and below the line. And we got to do a better job at uh, making sure that our industry is really forward thinking and leading the way globally. And we're just we're just doing as our little piece of it. You know, we're not going to change the world in our, in our lifetime, but if we can just shift it a little bit forward, we're, we're, we'd be very happy with that.